Hey everybody, it's uh, been a while. It's Empire State Warrior. And today, we are going over the Tier 7 of the new line for the Murat. The AMX 13M24. Which, if you don't have the game anymore, this is what the tank is. It is the newest of the line of Frenchies that just got introduced to the game. They're the French medium line. It's the only medium line for the Frenchies in the game. But it only goes from tier 7 up. We are starting with this one. I will try to do videos on every one of them, depending on. But we're going to start here. First and foremost, this thing is amazing. It's a great tank. It has a lot going for it. I have dull perspective from me and from a viewer that I love to death and me and him play together every night. Legendary 602, he is awesome. And the only game I have on this for this dull perspective is on Oasis Palms in both of these tanks. This thing running in a platoon. First off, let me give you a down vote for, or download, sorry, for the gun. You have a 220 alpha, two shot, auto loader with a three second intra clip and around a 10 and a half second reload on the full clip, meaning you clip out in 13 and a half seconds. You have, I think, seven or eight degrees of gun depression, decent turret armor, and decent hull armor. And this is a tier seven that has the hull of the AMX 1375. And the turret of the tier 6 American, the Chaffee. But way better turret armor. They've buffed it a lot. My biggest thing that I like to say about this thing is that it is good by itself. It is better with multiple people. It works better with multiple because as you can see, if you have two people shooting at the same target, that's 880 damage quickly. Not only that, but it has good view range. You have sitting around 300 meters of view range. And as you can see, it's accurate. 220 alpha coming into play and just 700 damage. That was three shells. But that reload is what makes this tank personally for me. That short reload, it's 11 seconds flat. So you technically have a 14 second reload overall for the gun, which is absolutely insane. In any sense of the word, it's insane. And that's just the truth. Another match roll of 275, and he's shooting the other one. Got nuked by the SU, by the way. Took 500. But we are up. I think he's sitting at around 15 to 1,800 damage, too. I'm going for the IS. I'm going to try to track him here. I do. I think, I think I do get the track here. But this tank is amazing. And 2,600 damage, 1,200 assistance. And he's brawling with a tiger. And that's GG. Like, we've already solidified the game. We've done good damage, like... I don't remember if we get the brothers or not. I can't remember. I don't think we do. I think I try to take the kill. No, we get it. We do get the brothers in arms. And I'm just going to show you the main screen for victory here of how much I do because I do have that double perspective. I kind of want to keep what he does a secret. Ace, monstrous damage, monstrous everything. And we were going to his perspective. He does run it with speed boost. You can run it with speed boost. 
But me and him both agreed on one thing with this. You want to run the armor enhancement. You do. You do, you do, you do. You want the extra armor because that turret is really solid. And he plays this a lot different from me. You saw I was kind of using my gun depression, kind of getting at weird angles for certain things. He goes down lower. He likes to be flat level with his opponents, which really works in our favor because I get above them, he gets below them, and we just kind of sandwich them most of the time, which really works in our favor. You wouldn't think this thing works like that, but it can because you can see, as you see, I went down and did this, and he goes up getting in a better position to shoot the other AMX. Which this thing stock has an okay gun, 160 alpha, but you have only like, you have a little bit worse pen. I'll, I'll note the pen later once we get to it. But if you're wanting to know base without, uh, oh my God, my brain's not working calibrated it's 155 and 240 stop 240 on the premium yeah you have one of the best penetrations ever in the game for a medium at tier 7 like i wish i were kidding he's already done 1300 by this point he's done more than me And as you can see, I'm kind of playing this weird. Yeah, that's just a tiger moment. But doesn't bother him. He continues to play his game. And we are just dominating so far. The enemy doesn't know what to really do. Taking it one shell at a time. Gets nuked here. Hold up. I do want to check this. Pause. Did he get hit with a heat shell or a standard? Standard. The SU low rolled massively. 565 with a 640 alpha gun on standard rounds? What the hell? And he can't kill him here. That This is the balancing factor for this for me. He's running Cali. I'm not running Cali. But that three second intra clip does kind of kill it for me. Mm. And see, because of the, how small you are, he misjudged him. The tiger misjudged it. And I'm sitting behind him and bonk. Wing, 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 bonk. And yeah, he's dead. And as you saw with the premium round, he, he doesn't need to aim. He has his own preferences with his loadouts. I prefer not running the speed boost that he has on. But he uses that speed boost for the extra speed and he got there in time due to that. Um, he didn't ace. I'm going to say that before we get into the screen. He did not ace. He got damn close. Had he had maybe one more kill or a few hundred more damage of assistance, it would have been a double ace, but this is why I didn't want to show it. 6,000 combined. We absolutely carried our team. Like, it was just a monstrous game overall. No downsides, no, no slips, nothing. First and foremost... I recommend running this right here, multi-purpose, basic, basic. He doesn't run this. He doesn't run the first aid. He runs this usually, which can help in certain situations. I understand that. Like either way, pick your poison, personally. It's a pick your poison moment. With provisions, we both agreed it's this, this, and this. Like there's no answer for butts. These three, absolutely. Because this increases view range, this increases accuracy, this increases reload, this increases movement. Dude, no questions asked. With the ammo, any way you set it up, you can be fine in because you have good HE, you have good premium, and you have good standard. There's no really reason to like kind of disparage. You can go 30-30 and whatever. 
if you wanted to. Which now we can't do 30 30, can we? Well, yeah, we can. You can do 30 15 15. Like, it's up to you. Personally, I kind of like to have it to where I have four clips of high explosive, six clips of premium, and enough standard to get me through the game. It's whatever. Pick your poison. I run in prevent ventilation to not only get the extra view range, but the extra damage per minute and give myself that extra little bit of reload. Yeah, it is a 10.97, so it's basically an 11 second flat. Your aim time sitting at 3.3, and the 0.279 dispersion is insanity for this type of a clipper. You're fast, and you have a good gun. Like I said, aim time dispersion, you want refined gun, and you want enhanced gun lane drive. I think the defense system for this is really nice because you will notice because the front has not only the gas tank, but it has the engine in it. The front of the tank does. It, it's very seldom that you get penned and it kits the engine. You're more often than not going to get hit in the side and get lit on fire before you will get hit in the engine. View range, there's no reason to even note this. You're a med. You want the view range. You have armor. You want enhanced engine accelerator. It's a med. You look at that turn rate, you look at the power to weight, and you look at the engine horsepower for this tier. I don't think I need to say why I'm choosing this one on this and the consumable delivery system. Now we're going to go to the main thing about this tank. That gets me. The armor says 45 on the hull. It has more of like... 100 mils of effective on the upper plate because it's so angled and if you angle that right and you get hold down right you will get random ass bounces on your hole your turret will get stupid bounces 115 on the front and if you do it right it's gonna have like almost 125 with the enhanced armor like i said your view range is nuts your concealment is actually really good while stationary it's 50 Upon firing, it's not too good, but this thing has stupid view range, and most people don't have the view range up. Like I said, that intra clip is your main issue, being at three seconds. That hurts this a lot. It, if it was at a 2.5, I would absolutely say it's way broken. Right now, it's a little bit overcooked. A little bit well done, but this thing is really good. Like I said, the base pens are good enough, personally, from my point of view. He likes having an extra pen. If you were to run the extra pen, 167, 252, and 49. That's what it would be with the extra pen, which is really, really nice. And then I think last but not least on this, 7 degrees of gun depression, yeah. For something this small that can low profile like that, it's really good. Top speed of 57 and 20 reverse. All of these have 20 plus reverse speed. So if you need it at a situation and you're kind of in a bad spot, you can just reverse out of it. You weigh 32 tons. So if you're going to ram, you can. You can. You can ram stuff in this. So keep that in mind. Overall, I will rate the entire line once I get through it because I'm going to do the entire line of this by the time I get through with this. Um, the tank overall is an 8.5 out of 10. It is amazing in so many aspects. I cannot put it to 9 or above because of the intraclip reload. If it had better intraclip, it would be monstrous. If you run two of these together in a platoon, it's a 10 out of 10 tank. Because you will absolutely make people furious. They will call you everything under the sun because you nuke them into oblivion. That's 880 damage between the two of you. And if you're right next to each other, that's in three seconds. But if you're spreading it out, it's sitting at about four and a half seconds to, pay to almost five seconds. That's 880 damage in five seconds. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's not fun. 
to deal with. Overall, really good tank. Highly recommend if you're going to go down this line, play this, grind through it. The entire line is so fun to grind. It really is. Even the stock gun on this wasn't awful. It genuinely wasn't. Because you have decent standard pen and decent premium pen. And you have a good clip reload. With a better intraclip and better accuracy and aim time. Like the tank is good. Overall, really fucking good tank. Next in the line would be the tier 8, the Iraq 105. I will not say anything on that tonight. Also, I will be doing videos disparagingly. I have two videos already though, this one and one more that I will be recording as well tonight. So you can expect it up a, maybe an hour after this one. Maybe. Other than that, this is Empire State Warrior, signing off.